So this one is going to be obviously a whole whole nother type of video. I ain't never done this before, so I'm just trying to do this right. So y'all know what the topic is. Let's get into it. DNA fam, what's happening? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. I'm trying to, I'm trying to have a smile. I'm trying to be happy right now, but it's been a crazy weekend, not just for me. But for everybody else as well, we lost a great athlete, we lost a great father, we lost a great human being. Somebody who has inspired so many people through not just sports, things on and off the court. So I have to give my condolences and my respect to Kobe's family and everybody involved. Not just Kobe as well, the other people in the aircraft, everybody that's affected from this situation. The little girls from the basketball team, the people that he's touched, his daughter's friends you name it, everybody involved. Like, this stuff is horrible. We never wanna see this happen. We know this happens every day. And this person individually has impacted so many people so you can see our reactions towards this human being. And that's typically what happens when somebody that has helped and inspired so many, they get that love that comes back as well. And even if it's a smaller scale from somebody like me or somebody like you, we still have our impacts and we hope that we do have our impacts on each other to make this world a better place. So basically, I just kind of want to talk about this topic of his sneakers because obviously he's had a huge factor in uh, the shoe culture, the community. Obviously, everybody knows that his sneakers sell very well in China. Um, they sell well in America. And I'm, I'm very confused, conflicted, interested, all these different things when it comes to his sneakers recently uh today today because the accident happened earlier today and i'm seeing a lot of people so many different uh reactions people are loving that people are making a bunch of money off of his shoes and other people are hating that people are making a bunch of money off of his shoes and i can understand both dynamics i can understand where everybody's coming from i can see i'm trying to wear everybody's shoe or be you know, put myself in their situation and understand where they're coming from so i'm just trying to open this and this video is not really about me at all it's more of an open discussion for you guys so please comment down below i don't think there's actually a right or a wrong answer just because if you look at it from somebody else's perspective you might have a better understanding as to where they're coming from now there are going to be some people that are going to do this negatively and take advantage of these situations when it comes to them profiting off of his shoes knowing that Kobe had just passed away and uh I just I was like I had a feeling like soon as it happened I wasn't even thinking about it and then a couple hours later I'm like yo his shoes are probably going crazy right now I bet they're going crazy in value so I get on StockX and I look up the first shoe I looked up actually let me see if I can find it the first shoe that I looked up was the Grinch. And I knew that the Grinch was going for a bunch of money. I used to have those a long time ago. And I sold mine for a solid dollar amount back in the day. And I was like, oh man, that's crazy. You know, they're worth $1,500 now in a size 13. But then I see the next asking price, $4,000. That's more than double the price of the shoe. And I'm like, this is crazy. Like people are about to start spiking all of his sneakers in value just so they can make their money. Me personally, I have no intents to sell any Kobe sneakers, so don't even try to put me in that conversation because it's not coming for me on this end. I'm just literally relaying this message and opening the conversation for you guys to then talk about it in a respectful manner with each other, with me, with you know, each other, with each other in the comment section, and uh, you know, just I'm just trying to open this discussion because this is a part of our our community and our culture. And this is stuff that means stuff in it and people make money from this and all these different things. So I look at something like the Kobe 9, the what the Kobe 9. I remember I used to have those. I sold those for like 300 bucks back in the day. And uh, I was like, I'm never going to wear this shoe. So why would I keep it? You know, it's just one of those things. And I look now and I'm like, damn, 780 bucks. That's crazy. Like these things then like doubled or tripled so then i looked at the dates and everything from the sales and i'm looking right here and i'm like that's from like today 
<laughs> because yesterday they weren't going for that. Like you could see they were going to go for 300, maybe 500 bucks if you get that crazy sale. But as soon as the incident happened today, next thing you know, you've seen pairs selling for 480, 440, and then a pair that just sold for 780 on StockX. So people are definitely taking advantage of this situation, which comes to question, is this a bad thing to do? Is this a good thing to do? Who knows? You don't know this person's situation as to why they're selling the shoe. Um, some people could have already had the sneaker on StockX for sale. And because of that situation, the price rose in value just like any other sneaker would if you were to purchase an off-white and then over time it rises in value. So they could have been in that situation where they already were intending to sell the shoe and then they came to wow, the shoe just spiked in price, so I'm going to sell it for more as well. And do you fault that person for that? I don't know if that makes sense to me because they was already planning on selling the shoe. But then you have other people that have the shoe, weren't planning on selling the shoe because it was at X amount of dollars. And because the price doubled or tripled, they now they're going to sell the shoe and get their money off of it and take advantage of this situation. So you got a bunch of different dynamics and a bunch of different things. And then you have another part where it's like, well, do we fault the buyer? Because the buyer wasn't interested in this shoe and wasn't trying to pay $300 for the shoe, but now they're willing to pay 900 or 700 or whatever it may be for the shoe. They didn't want it yesterday, but now they want it today, right? So it's like, Oh, now you want to care. So it's like one of those type of situations. There's a lot of different dynamics. So I'm just kind of opening this conversation again, just to try to uh, help see where people are coming from and understand uh, different mindsets and, you know, just what people are thinking about. I just really wanted to have this more of a conversation and a comments type thing. Don't come at me for nothing because I'm not here for none of that. I'm literally here to just open the conversation start a discussion, see where people are coming from, and hear everybody's perspectives. Please do it respectfully. Uh, we're here to, again, build the community. I wanna have these conversations because they're uncomfortable. We wanna build the community together, not tear each other apart. So what we need to do is continue to talk about these things with each other, not tear each other down, and understand where other people are coming from. And don't make your judgments and all these things. Just understand where people are coming from. I would really like to see that happen down below in the comment section. I'm gonna pull up a couple other shoes that were actually a big shocker to me as well. So the Kobe won the 81 point game. When did those come out? I think, was that like a couple years ago? It wasn't that long ago those came out. But everybody remembers these. So I'm looking at a pair right here, sold for $315. Literally, literally a couple days ago, well, I guess last month, you want to call it a lot. It's not even selling that often, honestly. But if you look at last month, $107, $133, $98, $80, $79, right? This shoe was barely even selling for $100. And now it's selling for $250, $550, $315. You see where I'm going right here? Literally going for under 100 bucks and selling for five times the amount now because of this situation and again this is just i'm giving you guys the information of what is happening here on the internet it's not me i'm not the one that's making the sales or the buys i'm just relaying the message to you guys so i hope this uh sparks a new mindset i hope you guys are able to talk in the comment section and really just just i don't know we gotta figure it out and try to make it better i don't know how we can do this again that's why i'm trying to just figure it out like i don't know either that's why i want i need you guys' help but there's so many different dynamics and uh don't try to point fingers but just try to understand and try to listen and and you know stand stand your point as well say what you got to say but uh say it in a mindset where you're still listening and understanding and not just pointing 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 because at the same time, you got to look at what you're pointing at and where you're coming from as well and how it can affect other people. So I don't know, man. It's, this is just a crazy topic. Like, 
insane. I'm, I do not like to hear things like this. Great athletes, obviously anybody in general, just any human being. But when it comes to, you know, somebody like Kobe, we all understand like he has affected all of us. I have my memories of going to see Kobe when he had his fro back in the day when he was playing with Shaq at, at the Portland games and, and seeing them come and play it against the Blazers. And when they played us in the, the semifinals to go to the championship when we had the jail Blazers and all these different moments. And when I went to go see him a couple years ago at All-Star Weekend and he spoke and there's just a lot of different things. You know, we all got our memories, right? And I got my Kobe memories too. And it's we all got our mama moments, right? We all got our mama moments. We all got our our Kobe. We got our Kobe shots. Like we all got that. We all got the the debates. Who's better, Kobe LeBron or right? We all have these conversations. So uh, we can have those type of conversations in another video. But I just want to tell you guys, you know, be grateful for your life. Enjoy everything. Enjoy your time here. Uh, cherish every moment. Cherish the people around you. Tell somebody that you love them today. After you see this video, if you made it to the end, hey, go and tell somebody that you love them. Tell them that you appreciate them. And uh, I promise you it'll make a better day for yourself and for that person. So with that being said, my name is DJ. And like we always say, if you haven't already, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm signing out. I'm gone. Peace.